Hello and welcome to Code Pro, your source for clear and effective programming tutorials. Today we are going to be continuing our iOS uh, programming series covering the UI navigation controller. This tutorial goes hand in hand with the modal navigation tutorial and now you're going to see how to use a combination of modal segues with navigation controller segues. So uh, let's uh, just show you what we're going to be building today uh, before we get started and we are going to create an application that looks and functions somewhat like this. Uh, imagine, if you will, we're starting off at a login screen, a user taps login, and then they are presented with a dashboard screen upon which they can go and inspect a detail screen and then go back using the navigation bar. Uh, this is a very popular layout in many applications. Uh, it's a very common scenario to have to implement in practice, and this tutorial is going to show you how to do that. Uh, so let's dive into our learning objectives. We are going to understand the purpose of the UI navigation controller, how to subclass it and use it in our project. We are going to learn how to use a combination of modal segues along with what's called push and pop segues using a navigation controller. And we're going to learn the best use cases for when to use modal, when to use a navigation controller, and how to flip-flop between the two. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this tutorial is going to be in Swift, uh, and you are welcome to follow along at Objective-C if you wish. Go ahead and open Xcode and create a new iOS single-view application. And uh, let's go into our main storyboard file first and start getting everything set up that we need. So, we are going to need a few additional uh, view controllers to get everything set up. So let's start by going to the object library and dragging a view controller onto the canvas. This is going to represent our login view controller. And let's go ahead and also add in one more view controller over on the right. And this is going to represent our detail view controller. And let's go ahead and start getting everything set up here. So go over into your source code file directory in the project and right click, add a new file, a new Swift file. And we're gonna call this login view controller and go ahead and create that. Let's go ahead and set up the class with the necessary things we need. We're going to import UI kit, which contains all of our view controller information, UI view controller information, class login view controller, which inherits from UI view controller. And let's just go overhead and override our view did load. It's so perfect. Uh, we've got one part of that uh, implemented. Let's go back to our storyboard and let us go ahead and associate our login view controller with this interface builder file here. So let's go ahead and go into the class identity inspector and change this class to, you guessed it, login view controller. And we're also going to make the storyboard ID match this as well, which we're going to use again shortly. And go and select your view controller uh, in the document outline, select the view, and let's just change this to a slightly different color here. Uh, just so we can differentiate uh, what screen we are on. And uh, we need to also set up our detail view controller that we added over here. So go back over into your source code a directory, right click, new Swift file. Uh, let's go ahead and call this uh, detail view controller. And go ahead and hit create. Let's import and create our class as we did with login. Import UI kit. Class detail view controller UI view controller and override view did load. Okay, so we are almost set up. Let's go back over to the storyboard and make sure we subclass this appropriately. Go back into the uh, class inspector and for this view controller, detail view controller is going to be where it derives from, and we're going to match the storyboard ID here as well. Okay, so we are almost ready to go. Uh, there's one, one, one big thing we need to do yet. We need to create our navigation controller and subclass it. 
And this view controller is going to represent our dashboard. Uh, and what we're going to do is if you go up with the view controller selected, go under editor, you can go down to embed in and you'll see that you have the option of embedding this view controller in a navigation controller. Go ahead and select this. Uh, this makes it easy. We could also do this from the object library, um, but uh, we don't necessarily have to if we can just do a one click to go ahead and set that up. And let me just uh, organize this back over here so we're all set. And uh, let's go ahead and zoom back out a little bit so we can see our documents outline and our whole layout. And let's go ahead and set up that subclass for our navigation controller. And then we'll explain a little bit more about it. So go back into the source code directory, go into a new Swift file. And we're gonna call this main navigation controller. Let's go ahead and set up our class here, import UI kit, which contains all navigation controller information, class main navigation controller, which derives from UI navigation controller. And uh, let's just go ahead and subclass or override its view to load. And let's just go ahead and set up our association in the interface builder. So now select your navigation controller, go into the class identity, and let's change that class to subclass main navigation controller. And Xcode automatically auto completes that for me because it knows what I'm trying to do. Let's also give it a storyboard identifier to match the same name. And now let's talk about this uh, so we can have a better understanding of what this is. So uh, the navigation controller, its job is to manage a set or a stack of view controllers. Uh, upon uh, that stack, you can add view controllers onto the stack by pushing, and you can pop view controllers off of the stack um, by what's called a pop segue. And the navigation controller controls the navigation bar, and uh, a lot of the back buttons and the swipe to go back functionality um, is implemented by default using the navigation controller. Uh, and we can take a look really quickly by going into our main navigation controller Swift and command clicking into this class to see more about it. And you can see all of the functionality that it has, but most importantly, it has a property view controllers, an array of view controllers that is the associated stack. So let's go ahead and start setting up the uh, flow here for what we're going to do. Um, the first thing we want to do is create the segue from the dashboard to get to that detail view controller. So go ahead and select view controller and let's go look for a button and drag that onto the canvas and click that button, go over to the resolve auto layout issues and reset that to suggested constraints. So it's pinned in the center and at the bottom and now we're going to create a segue and interface builder here. Hold down the control key and drag on over to detail view controller. Let go and go ahead and select show. So now you can see detail view controller just inherited a navigation bar because now uh, interface builder is saying, hey, this is going to be the next view controller in the stack it's going to go ahead and inherit the properties that its parent and the navigation controller at the very top have. Uh, and so that's just a, a nice little way for uh, Interface Builder to automatically handle some of those things for us. Let's go back to the login view controller now and actually present or use our modal segue to present our navigation stack. So we're going to do the same thing again here. We're going to drag a button onto the login view controller and we are going to go to the uh, Resolve Auto Layout Issues, reset to suggested constraints to center that button, and uh, I'm going to change that text to login just so it's clear as to what we're doing. <clears throat> and so let's go ahead and create an interface builder action to trigger the functionality that we need here. Um, so open the 
the code editor, the split view here, and let's go ahead and just give ourselves some more space. Um, and let's go and control click and drag into login view controller and select from the connection, switch it to action. And let's just call this login tapped. Okay. Now we need to implement a little bit of functionality to get this working. So let's go ahead and find our uh, navigation controller and then present it modally. So let nav main navigation controller equals storyboard dot instantiate view controller with the identifier that we set in the interface builder main navigation controller as main navigation controller and finally let's go ahead and present modally present this main navigation controller animated true and nil for the completion handler we don't need that right now so we're just going to go ahead and nil that out okay so now that that's set in place, we want to do one more thing. We want to be able to get back to uh, the login screen again, kind of simulating a logout from, from a dashboard, which is a, a popular UI for, for some applications. To do that, uh, go into our view controller, or what represents our dashboard, uh, go, and, go into the object library and select a bar button item, and drag that onto the navigation bar itself and I'm just going to change the title to logout. And what we want to do is open our assistant editor again, this time with view controller selected, and we need to find that Swift file. So viewcontroller.swift, because that's the class that this is linked to. And same, same idea, control, click and drag the logout to the Swift file, release, and let's create an action for this, and we'll call this logout handler. And now let's go ahead and actually go back to the login view controller. So every view controller has a property called the presenting view controller. Now it's optional because any view controller might not be actively being presented by another view controller, but in our case it is because we used a view controller to modally present our navigation stack. So what we want to do is use our presenting view controller and notice it's optional. You need to make sure that uh, if you don't know uh, if it's optional or not, you need to gracefully unwrap that, otherwise you'll have a runtime crash. But we are going to do presenting view controller dot dismiss animated true and nil on the completion handler. We don't need it right now. We're not going to be doing any cleanup after we dismiss this. Now this is going to dismiss our, or take us back to our login view controller, which was the starting view controller that presents everything uh, that we had seen in the demonstration application. Uh, so that covers everything we need to do here. I'm just going to change uh, the color of the views uh, just so we can have a little bit of a different thing going on here so we know where we are. Uh, let's give our detailed view controller a different color as well. Select the view, and we'll just go ahead and make it yellow. All right, let's go ahead and fire up our simulator and make sure everything's working as expected. Let's go, I'm gonna switch to an iPhone 5S here and go ahead and start building that. Oops, one other thing I forgot to do here. We need to set our starting view controller uh, to be login. Otherwise, we're gonna be starting on the navigation controller. So go back to your login view controller, go under your uh, attributes inspector, and just make sure you toggle is initial view controller. And now go ahead and run that again. And we should start off at login. Okay, so we're at login. User taps log in. Now we go to our dashboard screen. We want to show our detail screen, so we press our button, or ideally tapping in a table view in a real application. Uh, and now you can, we're in our detail view. And notice 
the navigation controller gives us this back button out of the box. We did not have to code this. And this is really great because uh, it saves a lot of work and you also have that swipe to go back functionality. Uh, and now let's try our logout, make sure that's working. Back to the login screen. Go through it one more time. Login and detail, back, logout. So that covers the basics for this tutorial and we want to talk about one more point. When should we differentiate between using modal segues and navigation controllers? In most cases, for standalone screens, let's say a login screen, let's say the premium content screen when you want to make an in-app purchase, any screen that kind of stand alone, stands alone by itself, you can probably use a modal segue to just show it, get some minimal user action from it and dismiss it when done, and it's not responsible for presenting a stack of views. Now, in a application that has a drilled down approach, that's much more appropriate for using a navigation controller that's going to handle that stack, which you can swipe or hit the back button to go back up to the top. Uh, so it really depends on your layout, but usually standalone view controllers benefit from using modal segues and view controllers that have a hierarchy benefit from using a navigation stack. And you'll find out in most applications you will have to use combinations of both, just knowing when to use it and not to abuse it is the key. Uh, so that covers everything. I hope this tutorial was helpful and as always, please like the video if you liked it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you found this helpful and uh, also we're going to be posting this code on GitHub for the finished project so you can have access to it there. And uh, thank you for stopping by. Please stay tuned for more tutorials to come. Thank you.